I'm about to get to the fittings. Got my nice, uh, thick pipe going straight into there. I work to the wise. You don't have to cut too much out of here for the k and intake. I cut a whole lot, but I added it back. Pretty nice and sturdy. Plenty of room for it to go in there. It's going to be about six inches. So it should go in there pretty good. Be cautious of this um, this mount right here, this bracket. My setup was indeed touching this. And I did dremel a little bit out. Very close, but it's clear. As you can see, you can see a little bit of space in there. Here's an update or information on when you're installing your my fuel rail fittings. But what I did for this crossover pipe that crosses over to this side, as you can see, that's the other end of this. Um, a good thing to do here is to uh, basically, essentially what you want to do, you want to uh, have this not connected to the main fuel rail. Tighten up your fittings first before you tighten it down. This and this first, because this is another and here. This is a male, this is the male to male and. It's inside here and it's inside this coupler. So I tighten up this coupler to this and, this male and, and make sure it was nice and tight. And then I tighten it up here, this fitting onto the male and, and then tighten up this last. Okay? Now, going over here, and for our harness wire, as you can see, I lifted it up pretty damn high off of here. And I probably use a zip tie to go around here where that hole is at and zip tie and keep it away from this exhaust right here. So it's up pretty high so I can get to this T-fitting. Now, this T-fitting is right here. So you have the T-fitting where the female is going in this way, right here, okay? And you have the two males going, one going up and one going to the right. The one to the right is gonna go straight into this crossover, right here. There we go. Backside comes down. Underneath the throttle body goes here, goes here to the T fitting to the male. You have one male going up, and you had a female going into the next rail. This is for the main fuel line. All right, here's an update, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking. Then you have the um, intake in and all this stuff. Well, I did, and uh, we tried to fire it up, and the um, the AirQ4 throttle body just, for whatever reason, it won't work on this car, man. Oh, I know it's a lot of problems that you truck guys, you guys had these throttle body sensor, position sensor shits or whatever, Throttle body actuator and throttle body pedal sensor, uh, you know, fuck that. What I went ahead and did, I ordered me a LS3 throttle body AC Delco. And I'm going to go with that, man. That's, that's going to be probably the best. And hopefully it won't give me any problems. First thing you want to do, maybe get stuff clear and maybe cover up stuff such as this grab you some WD-40 it might not even be necessary but you know just to make things a little more easy spray a little WD-40 and you're gonna hit it right here and spray it in there wipe up any mess All right, and you're gonna need a socket wrench and a four millimeter so you take your ass over to your work table or your uh, uh, whatever and don't mind the mess it'll be cleaned up Get your socket wrench, get your four millimeter, which is this, just like this, and just pop it loose. And this comes out. Just unscrew it 
and out, out it comes. Just make sure you wipe up this area inside here and you'll be good. Go ahead and go to work because more likely when you're taking the studs out, I know what you're doing. You're taking them studs out because what you want to do, you want to put something like this in here. It's an adapter by billet. It comes with all the necessary screws. They'll, they'll go into the intake you're going to need here. And uh, usually when you're doing that, you're using an adapter plate for one reason. And this is the reason right here. All right. Now this is AC Delco part number 217-3153-LS3 uh, throttle body. Oh, isn't she nice? Oh. Oh my God, man. Why did I, why did I, why in the hell did I go on this fucking website, man? God damn it, man. I know I got new wires, ZZP 10.5 millimeter wires, and you know, they got the NGK spark. Oh, man, why would I not put this? Why would I not do this? Oh man, god damn it, I'm gonna fucking. God damn it, I'm gonna do it. God. Oh, fuck it. God damn it. Oh, son of a. Oh, oh, oh quick update on this next chapter for the evap i'm capping that off i can probably even put a little clamp to it make sure it stays in place but it shouldn't go anywhere i'm gonna also cap this off uh due to the ls3 that i'm putting on i currently have the um coil packs off she's awaiting her zzp uh coil pack and I know some people, oh man, you didn't have to do that. And, you know, this is unnecessary. And it looks like I'm getting a little leakage right here. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this is leaking here, man. But, but yeah, um, coil packs come in ZZP. I figure, why not? To take the coil pack off the back here, uh, where the alternator is at, since it's in the damn way you have to unscrew the uh two screws for the coil pack first and then you can be able to reveal the actual socket here to remove it so that's about it i'm gonna address this right here it's a little oily right here if i have to um get other uh some more screws that's fine it's it's off now i could this is my time to do it You know, you're changing your grommets and your valve cover gaskets on 5.3, 5.7, 6.0, 6.2, whatever. And you're trying to get this here fail pole grommet on this here boat. What you're doing, you're coming in here at an angle, right? You're coming in here and you're pushing on it. No heat, see? It's already halfway in there, right? You keep on turning. You turn and turn and turn it. Now when you get to a certain point, what you're going to do, you're going to be squeezing it like this. So you're going to squeeze it. See, when you squeeze it, you can collapse it on there just like that. It's all about manipulating the rubber. Then you have this other little hump. You can just kind of just, you know, do the same thing. Just kind of just go at an angle like this. You go on this side. You can see it being revealed. Then go on the other side. Pop it in just like that. No heat. I'm going to show you again on another one. Put a little bit of oil on there. Take it. You're coming in just like this, right here. You're coming in and you, you're spinning it. Just like this. You're spinning it and you're put pressing. Putting some pressure to it. Put some pressure on it. See right here? I want to get a little bit more down. But the secret is to make it oval shape, right? See how I'm doing? Now I got a good bit of it in there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna 
press it. See how I'm pressing it to make it oval shape? You put pop it in just like that. And for the next little thing, you just see how that's going? Just go to the other side, pop it in. It's done. If some, if they don't go on like that, then yeah, you can try to heat. But first, before you do all that shit, at least try that way. Okay, so you you got to this point where you're trying to take the valve cover, replace the gasket, and you're running into this problem where you just can't fucking um, uh, put this gasket on because it's going to fall. You use some dental floss, and what you want to do, you want to take the dental floss, do you want to take it around here? Take a look at your work. Let's see. It's on there. Look closer, you can see the gasket is in there. There, man, it a little bit. So you can just take it out like that. And right here, you just pull it. It's very easy. But see, right here, you can just pull it. Because I didn't have that much. And it's done. And it's just pretty. Look at that. I'm putting it in. Set them down, downward. Right. That's the back side. You have your brake booster right here, the red booster. You have your uh, PCV valve uh, holes or whatever. Uh, they're going into this catch can here. Uh, let's see. I did uh, charge the battery. I got it off, but uh, I'm going to plug it in as soon as I get the uh, adapter. Plug that sucker in. Uh, that's the LS3 throttle body here. And uh, everything fits pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. There's your four inch intake tube going into the LS7 MAF sensor. And uh, I have a cupola there. I did have to cut into the uh, k and uh, wall and I just built it back up with aluminum, just, you know, just taping it against each other until I built it back up to where I wanted it. I could add a little bit more. Let's see, let me show you. I could add a little bit more here in this area right here, but uh, I don't know. I, yeah, I might add a little bit right there. Why, why not? What the hell, right? Um, also added, if you can see, I added it all the way down. If you see right there above my finger, I added it way down that way as well because all that was kind of open up a little bit. You don't have to worry about this because of the hood. It'll keep that nice and... Uh, Closed off. But it's not a cold air intake box, but it'll work. So I am ready to rock with this.
God damn it. Uh, uh, uh.